you know, Trump is such a petty person and overly sensitive to, you know, there are so many crucial things going on in the world right now. And this man has nothing better to do than worry about his follower count on Twitter. Yes, you heard me right. Trump was so upset about his follower count, he contacted Twitter CEO to bitch about it. Let me might let me go ahead and add this. I don't believe any president of a country should be out on Twitter. I really don't. I don't think they should be spending their days on Twitter when they should be working for the country. You know, try that, Trump. So this came out in the Washington Post, y'all. Trump met with Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey and complained about his follower count. So what is he supposed to do? Push a bunch of people that don't want to follow you just to bulk up your numbers? <laughs> oh, if this man would just worry about some things that are important. <laughs> okay. Trump on Tuesday met privately with Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, a huddle at the White House between one of the site's most prolific users and an executive who faced Chris, uh, criticism for the way Twitter has handled the president's tweets. I don't know who, what are they supposed to do about them obnoxious tweets from him? The meeting came as Trump continues to attack the tech industry, threatening to regulate Facebook, Google, and Twitter out of concern that they censor conservatives online, an allegation those companies fiercely deny. Trust me, they don't. They don't. The president's latest salvo arrived just hours before he met with Dorsey. Trump accused Twitter of playing political games and tampering with his nearly 60 million followers. Really? I'm amazed that he even had that amount of people following him. I don't think I could lose my brain cells like that every day. A significant portion of the meeting focused on Trump's concern that Twitter quietly and deliberately has limited or removed some of his followers, according to a person with direct knowledge of the conversation who requested. Okay, so it's another person inside the White House that want to be anonymous. Oh, man, how many times are we going to see this in the story? But one thing I can honestly say Trump don't have any loyalty in his administration. These folks will drop a dime on him like it's nothing. He really has no loyalty in that administration. They don't have no problem going to the media and running their mouth. And he still have yet to get a, he can't get control over it. Trump said he had heard from fellow conservatives who had lost followers for unclear reasons as well. Have you ever thought about talking to those followers that left? I'm sure they will tell you. But Twitter long has explained that follower figures fluctuate as a company takes action to remove fraudulent spam accounts. In the meeting, Dorsey stressed that point noting even he had lost followers as part of Twitter's work to enforce its policy, according to the source, who described the meeting as cordial. All right, so here's Donald Trump. And I guess this is their meeting. Donald Trump 
tweeted, and this was April 23rd, 2019. Great meeting this afternoon at the White House at White House with Jack at Jack um, from Twitter. Lots of subjects discussed regarding their platform and the world of social media in general. Look forward to keeping an open dialogue. And here's a tweet from Jack. Thank you for the time. Twitter is here to serve the entire public conversation and we intend to make it healthier and more civil. Thanks for the discussion about that. And that was on April 23rd. Wow. <laughs> this is what the president of the United States have time for, to bring the CEO to the White House to bitch about the followers that are no longer interested in following him <laughs> or spam accounts that they got rid of. And he's butt sore because his following count is dropping. <sighs> wow. In a statement, Twitter said the meeting initiated by the president focused on protecting the health of the public conversation ahead of the 2020 U.S. elections and efforts underway to respond to the opioid plague. Twitter partners with the federal government on a program to encourage Americans to dispose of prescription drugs they no longer need to prevent against abuse. That ain't going to happen. Ain't gonna happen. You can put those campaigns out there all you want. Those campaigns are only so effective. They really are. We have lived through the campaigns during the crack cocaine era. Those campaigns that y'all put on TV are completely ineffective. I mean, just say no. I don't believe anybody was helped by that. And I don't believe anybody's going to be helped by, hey, y'all throw away them pills you don't need. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, in March, Trump accused Sil uh, Silicon Valley's largest companies of harboring a hatred for a certain group of people that happened to be in power that happened to have won the election. Is there any day that this man wakes up and is humble enough to not always put himself first? I'm just asking, does this day even exist? This man don't do nothing but think about his self 24 seven. Wow, in doing so, Trump threatened potential regulation telling reporters at the press conference that the government may have to do something about it because he's butt sore. There must be regulations put in place. People gain and lose followers, subscribers, friends all the time on social media. That stuff will fluctuate. That's nothing. But this man is unrealistic. He think that he should not lose one person ever. <laughs> so if he loses some people, let me get the CEO of Twitter over here because I lost some people. Are you for real? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what your taxpayer money is paying for. Trump being butt sore over losing some followers. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say. Please tell me what you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.